Donald Trump uh, announces that he has decided that, you know, apparently he's taking um, what, what prophylactic hydroxychloroquine. Uh, I didn't know that it was prescribed as a prophylactic, but let's listen. Signed And a lot of good things have come out about the hydroxy. A lot of good things have come out. And you'd be surprised at how many people are taking it, especially the frontline workers, before you catch it. The frontline workers, many, many are taking it. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. Hydroxychloroquine? I'm taking it. Hydroxychloroquine. When? Right uh, now, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. And if it's not good, (laughs) I'll tell you right. I'm not going to get hurt by it. It's been around for 40 years for malaria, for lupus, for other things. I take it. Frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. Excuse me. A lot of doctors take it. I take it. Now, I hope to not be able to take it soon because, you know, I hope they come up with some answer. But I think people should be allowed to. I got a letter from a doctor the other day from Westchester, New York, around the area. I I read all my letters. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. He's announcing that he's taking this. Now, the weird thing about it is uh, that they released a letter from his physician. And I'm going to read it right now. As has been previously reported two weeks ago, one of president's support staff tested positive for COVID-19. Okay, that's uh, true. The president is in very good health. All right. And has remained symptom free. He receives regular COVID-19 testing, all negative to date. Okay, this is um, the subject line on this, incidentally, was hydroxychloroquine. After numerous discussions, he and I, regarding the evidence for and against the use of hydro, hydroxychloroquine, we concluded the potential benefit from treatment outweighed the relative risks. Okay, we could have that conversation too. In conclusion, with our interagency partners and subject matter experts around the country, I continue to monitor the myriad of studies investigating potential COVID-19 therapies, and I anticipate employing the same shared medical decision-making based on the evidence at hand in the future. In other words, uh, I'm not going to sign a document that says you're you're taking it. I think that's what that uh, letter from the president's uh, physician says. There you go. 